On this Martin Luther King Day, a remarkable story took place in Hattiesburg. Two Hattiesburg physicians worked together to fly three Tuskegee Airmen to Washington, D.C. for Obama's historic inauguration. As Colleen Donovan reports, the party left from Hattiesburg's Bobby Chain Airport so the three American heroes could be honored in front of the entire nation on Tuesday. Is a wonderful thing. These three American heroes are members of the Tuskegee Airmen. They were the first U.S. African American military pilots, and together they fought for our country as combat aviators in World War II. On Monday, these Californians were one step closer to their final destination of Washington, D.C., and the inauguration of Barack Obama. It just makes me feel like that I'm getting an opportunity to participate in a part of the new 21st generation. Sir he says he's soaking in this special moment in his life, as are the two other airmen making the trip with him. We're going to experience something that this country has not seen before, and I think the world is looking at this, and I think they will enjoy it also. The Tuskegee Airmen believe they started the civil rights movement, and the inauguration of Barack Obama represents what they fought for equal rights and an end to the discrimination they experienced. So now uh, we've come. 360 degrees. We're going to now have a president who happens to be black. As for how three airmen from California happen to travel to D.C. from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, well, that's where two Hub City doctors step in. Dr. Lynn McMahon owns a plane while his partner, Dr. Stan Solney, treated two Tuskegee well, airmen. Now, Dr. Solney found out the men were invited to the inauguration, but they needed help getting there. So they didn't have funding, and so Stan called me and said, you got a plane, what do you think about taking some of these guys? I said, wow, what a deal. If you look at the, the history of Tuskegee Airmen and, and all the struggles they faced and the uh, you know, racism in the past that they endured, and now to come full swing and be actually invited to attend something like this where we're celebrating uh, the inauguration of the first black president, I think it's, it's a major milestone, so it's kind of a, a completion of a dream. A dream these men fought together for. For Seven on Your Side, I'm Colleen Donovan.